Hey everyone, welcome back to another Scratch video. In this video, we're going to be making a number engine on Scratch. This can be very useful for clicker games, and it can be very useful for displaying squares on Scratch projects. This project is less than 30 bucks in code, and you can actually customize, and this engine can hold up to infinity values. So let's get started instantly. Go ahead and create a new project. Let's delete the Scratch Cat and create a new sprite. Let's name it Clicks, because in this case, it would be used for a clicker game. So what I want you to do is rename each sprite 1 through 9 and then 0. Put an example 1 here and do this for more. Hey everyone, so as you can see I have renamed all my costumes to the number on that sprite. So 1 through 9 and then I have 0. So make sure you have 0 as well. Anyways, let's get coding. So first we want to go into the my box section and create a custom block. Um, Let's name this block number and add a couple of inputs. So the first one is num, which is the number that we want. The x position that we want to set this number engine to the y position and the size of this number engine. And make sure you click on run without screen refresh because what this does is it makes the code run without blinking. So then I have this code right here. And after this, we're going to get a go to x0, x0, x, x, x y, y. And after that, go into the look section and get a set size to size block. And we're going to create two variables. So go into the variable section. And the first one that we're going to create is called number. And the second one is called digits. Then you can untick both of these variables as well as delete the other variable that we don't need. So the number variable is to keep track of the number and the digits variable is to keep track of how many digits that we have. So we're going to set both of these to zero. And then we're going to go into the control section and get a repeat block and go into the operators section and get a length of number. So how many ever times the length of number we're going to do the code inside. So then first we're going to change the digits by one because every time our number increases by more than 10, we want to change our digits. And then we want to set number to this custom number block that we have right here. And then we're going to switch costume to go into the operator section and get a letter blank and do digits of number. Yeah, I can't really pronounce that correctly. But then after that, go make sure to enable pen. Uh, I already have pen for this project. So then make sure to stamp. So what this code does is it um, goes into the letter of the digit of the number. So for example, if there's a number like 52, it goes into the 5, the first digit, and then it gets the 5 over here, right? And then after that, stamps, and then we change the x every time our digit um, moves to the right. So change x to this half, the uh, algorithm that I created, so get the divide block. And after that, get the size divided by 4 because we have our own out, uh, input for size. So if we do like 140, we want the spacing to be even as well as the spacing for 100 to be even because sometimes it can get messy. So this hack makes it really well. Then after that, let's get a one click block. Let's get a hide block. In. And when we click on the green flag, we of course want to set our number to 0 because we want to reset it. Then we want to get a forever loop which is basically going to keep increasing the number and go into the my block section and drag in the block that we made and let's make this code go to negative 30 to 0 and let's set the size to 100 and now all we have to do is get a plus block in the operator section put a 1 in the second blank and we're going to put a number in the first blank so what this does is it keeps increasing the number plus 1 from the previous number so now this is going to be going really fast. So every time that put a new number, we want it to erase the previous number. So we're going to put it erase all. So now it should work. So as you can see, this is a very proper and good text engine. So I really like how the spacing is there. So you can actually change this and modify. So as you can see, this, um, this code is less than 30 blocks, which is really nice, and the code is neat, and, and I hope you enjoyed this video. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that subscribe button. I'm planning to start a reviewing projects on Scratch series, and I'll be uploading pretty consistently. So see you guys in the next video, and I hope you enjoyed this video.